Galaxy Geeks, it's Audrey. So before I get into this episode, I just wanted to express a huge thank you to all the comments, the feedback I received on doing reactions to Arcane. I was not expecting um, how the responses that I've gotten, like how huge of a fandom it is. I thought maybe we would get some views. I had no idea that this was going to happen. So again, thank you so much. I very much appreciate it. Um, I think we're going to look at keep releasing on Thursday, but uh, without further ado, let's go into another episode. Oh. Okay, that's okay. That's the end. Of it. This is the inventor at the engage. Okay, so I'm getting more excited. <laughs> I just from reading the comments, like the fandom, like what is upcoming, I feel like this is going to be probably one of my new favorite shows to watch. I didn't mention anything in the last episode, but I think it's really cool that Imagine Dragons, they're doing the theme song for it. Like, I love me some Imagine Dragons. Let's go over it again. You have to believe me. I didn't do it's this. a big hole. <laughs> Relax. We know it was a break -in, but that doesn't explain this. There's a lot of restricted items here. You want to tell me how you got them? What happened here? Science, I guess? Last time I checked, science didn't require illegal equipment. Nor was this approved by the Academy. Who authorized your research. It was an independent study. Who are you anyway? I'm assistant to the dean of the academy, who it may serve you to remember is also head of the council. He sent me here to ensure that anything dangerous is removed, which, according to my list, includes you. How am I dangerous? Yeah, that's for the council to decide. Yeah, he's probably gonna get shut down. Oh, cool, it's in this bracelet. Imprisonment. What a curious principle. We can find the physical body, yet the mind is still free. I do love a good conundrum. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw you at the Academy. You reminded me of myself, a scientist. Like, I'm trying to find a comparison. The ears remind me of Yoda. No great science should ever put lives in danger. Be honest now. What manner of inquiry was this? Professor Heimerdinger, I... I believe I've discovered okay. something truly incredible. A way to harness magic through science. The arcane is dangerous. Science cannot control it. Maybe it can. I'm close to a breakthrough. I know it. How old are you, my boy? I'm 24. I am now 307 years old. All my life I've pursued the mysteries of science, only to discover some are better left unsolved. This, I'm afraid, is one of them. Own your mistakes before the council. Admit your work was dangerous, but speak nothing of magic. Do that, and I theorize you'll get away with the um, slap on the wrist. <laughs> so that explains why she's so good at fighting. Remind oh, me why we bother with this dump. Vander said to lay low. Oh, what's the matter, Milo? You worried Powder's gonna beat you again? If she didn't keep fixing these things, I wouldn't keep missing. That's cool. You guys know I wouldn't take you on a job you couldn't handle, right? Are you kidding? That was the best job we've ever done. Maybe just don't take powder next time. That's me. Oh, she's a good shot. See, she has potential. Oh. Get back. Tell me where I can find them. Top side of business ain't my concern. Give me a name. Hey guys, you should see this. Oh. Search them. Go ahead, idiots. We got nothing. Oh, no. Leave her alone. Ah. <laughs> okay, there we go.
those crystals. Yeah. The House Pharaohs received your letter. They insist business is steady. Steady is stagnant, Alora. They wished me to remind you that it's thanks to their innovations that you are the richest person in Piltover. Ah, oh, yet I remain the poorest Medarda. Excellent choice, Counselor Medarda. A supreme challenge. We need something revolutionary. Something to put Piltover on the map. What of today's tribe? His name is Jace of House Talus. Remind me. They're toolmakers. I believe they came to renown for I their design she of the... Is. Collapsible pocket wrench. But Paima Dinger favors him? As far as I can tell. This one. That's a child's toy. Good. The boys got him. I guess we're getting introduced to the royalty. Darling, he nearly show. blew up our daughter. Jace had nothing to do with that. He was wrong. We need to help him. Caitlin's right. We've known Jace for years. Besides, we're his patrons. If anyone is meant to speak up for him, it's us. We should hit them back. We've got the numbers to beat them. You sure that's what you want? We crossed that bridge once before. We all know how that ended. Just protecting your kids. I'm protecting our people. I'll do the same for any one of you. We look out for each other. It's the way it's always been. This will blow over. Just need to stand together. The Vander I knew wouldn't be afraid to fight. Do I look afraid? You look weak. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing one of them is gonna try to overthrow. We kick the enforcers' butts uh, with just the to, four of us. That's what the whole of the lanes could do. Even Powder wants to fight. So why aren't we? You know something. Spill it, Echo. Vander's gotta deal with the enforcers. What deal? For your birthday, Oh, well, that's a birthday gift, yeah. okay. Mel. Is that why she said a gift to it being a child's gift? <laughs> and I bought you some ginkgo nuts. Ah, don't you know I'm allergic? What are you trying to do? Kill an old man? Jace Talis, you are accused yeah, so of illegal experimentation and endangering the citizens of Pilto. What do you have to say for yourself? The materials were far more dangerous. Than I was aware of. I, I now know my actions were against Academy regulation. What I did endanger people. It was reckless, and for that I'm sorry. I ask the Council's forgiveness, and I hope that I can continue my studies. As Jace's patron of many years, I can speak for his character. I believe that one day he will be a great contributor to our society. He destroyed a building. If you were a scientist, you'd know you can't make a prototype without breaking a few wrenches. <laughs> Do you have anything to show for your work besides an explosion? Uh, no, it came to nothing. So you're saying your study was meaningless? It was revolutionary. Revolutionary how? All I see is a boy meddling with things he doesn't understand. The Academy seems to have loosened its standards. If we condone this, what's ridiculous? Next? The Council has more inquiries. The I was trying to create magic. Uh oh. Magic. Arcane talents are something you're born with. They can't be fabricated. They mentioned arcane that the second time, so I guess that they call arcane magic in the show. The arcane is the curse of our world. My race was nearly destroyed by it. Surely we, the pioneers of science, can use it for good. We're the champions of discovery. Why fear it? Yes, enough. This is the city of progress. Think of the wonders we could create. Enough! Mm. You don't understand what's at stake. But how can you? That's a burden that only I here carry. Well, you said you were about 300 years old. I've seen this power in the wrong hands. It corrupts, consumes, lays waste to civilizations. That cannot happen here, my boy. It must not. Heimerdinger is right. Hiltover was founded to escape the warmongering of mages, not cultivated. He must be banished from Piltover. Please let me speak. As a lower house, my voice doesn't carry much weight here. But as a mother, I have a voice that matters deeply. My son isn't in his right mind. Mm. His entire life, he's chased an impossible dream. What he did was foolish and, and unwise, but he has a good heart. Please, let him come home. A crime like this can't be overlooked. The boy must be punished. A violation of the ethos calls for banishment. But I can sympathize with a young man's dream to change the world. Perhaps in this matter, a lesser sentence may suffice. I move that Jace be summarily expelled from the academy and remanded to the care of his parents. All those in favor? <sighs> you may take your son home, Mrs. Tallis. The way that guy looked at her automatically did that. I'm kind of wondering what's going on between them two. Oh, that's at the lab. First time I've been invited to the lanes. 
It better be worth my time. Carry your chin so high you fail to see the opportunity below. Who are you? You're looking for four children. The ones running circles around Pildova's finest. And what about it? No, don't look so concerned. I'm about to make your day. Can I come in? I still remember the look on your face when you found these. I like gemstones. Please, please. If I hadn't spoken, you'd be lost to me. I had to say something. Magic saved your life. Yes, but it won't save yours now. You need to let it go. I could have convinced the council. My own family won't help me. I'll find someone who will. No, oh, that foolish boy. Yeah, I must admit, his theory intrigues. If dangerous ideas didn't excite the imagination, we would never wander astray. Could it work? Could these stones really invoke magic? Nonsense. Far too unstable. Could you stabilize it? Me? Why would I? That only leads to more problems. And that poor boy has enough of them already. There. Come tomorrow morning, his research will be safely disposed of. Lock up. You're gonna take something, aren't you? Yep. Will he live? Long enough. Beautiful, aren't they? Yet, up there, no one even knows they exist. They're monsters. There's a monster inside all of us. What? No, 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 it'll kill me. I'd like to let you in on a very important secret I learned when I was about your age, boy. You see, power doesn't come to those who are born strongest, or fastest, or smartest. No, it comes to those who will do anything to achieve it. It's time to let the monster out. Oh, says you're a misfit and that we can't be friends anymore so why are you out here i'm a misfit too i suppose what will you do join the talus hammer business i guess you can't do that no i can't come inside caitlin i'm sorry i just wanted to explain i think you've done enough you said this was a robbery did they take anything dangerous hard to say we don't exactly know what we did find the culprits must be apprehended oh we'll find them don't worry. We've conducted exhaustive interrogations. With all due respect, Counselor, don't you think we've pushed them hard enough? Turn the embassies upside down if you have to. Just find them. Welcome to the last drop. What can I get you? Search the place. While you're wasting your time, how about a proper drink? Oh, that's cool. to an old friend of yours. He had some stories. You weren't always the peacekeeper, were you? Yeah, well, you can't escape the past, right? Oh, come on, Powder, hold on. You people down here are all the same. You think you're standing up for something? You're just a small man in a little hole the world forgot to bury. And I'm gonna bury the lot of you. You all okay? No, we're not okay. They almost saw Powder. What if they took her? You heard him. They won't stop. We need to fight back. And if you won't, I will. I've heard this kind of talk before. Yes, I will be the next leader. Why are we here? You still don't understand. What I don't understand is how you can work with them. We were here. We saw what they did. She was having flashbacks. I grew up knowing I'm less than them, that my place is down there. I want Powder to have more than that, and I'm willing to fight for it. So was I. I led us across this bridge, thinking things could change. If I hadn't, your parents would still be alive. I know you want to hurt the topsiders for what they've done to us, but who are you willing to lose? Milo? Flagger? Powder? Nobody wins in war, Vi. What are we going to do? The enforcers will come back. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Oh, that's what are you about to do? Oh, don't do it. Am I interrupting? What's that? Another list with my name on it? Actually, yes. But only because you signed your notes. Every page, I might add. 
Yeah, a little egotistical, mm -hmm. don't you think? Is that why you came to insult me? No, no, I was, I was intrigued by what you said at the trial. That makes you the only one. I wanted to talk about your work, this hex tech theory of yours. It's not a theory. I saw with my own eyes what magic can do, the lives it can save. And now it's gone. No one believed me. Nobody's ever believed in me. Poor cripple from the Undercity. I was an outsider the moment I stepped foot in Piltover. I didn't have the benefits of a patron or a name. I simply believed in myself, which is why I'm here. Because I think you're onto something. I want okay. to help you complete your we research. Got the book to help him. And thinks it can be done. When you're going to change the world, don't ask for permission. I don't even know your name. It's Victor. Bye! Where you been? Rumor is the lanes are gonna fight. I made them for the enforcers. These are smoke mm -hmm. bombs, and those two are full of nails. They're gonna work this time. I know it. Me too. You know, Powder, what makes you different makes you strong. Always remember that, okay? What the hell were you thinking? Do you have any idea what you've done? I was getting results. You're a fool. There is no stopping what happens now. Maybe it's not too late. about to take her all right so and the one of the comments i got from the last episode that i did this one was more like an introductory episode like getting no like more of the characters i could definitely feel that it kind of felt a little bit i guess i don't know a lot happened i don't want to say slower but it did feel it, i felt it was more of a show like episode of laying down a foundation of what's going on which i really enjoyed it um, I am really wondering what the next episode is going to be like, because I read in the comments that it's about to get really intense. So, thank you so much for watching, and join me for the next episode. Until next time, bye!